Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So I thought it would be a little bit fun to go ahead and do a drawing tutorial on a princess that we've never done before, which happens to be Princess Anastasia. Anastasia's from 20... 20th Century Fox, which was just bought out by Disney, so who knows if she's considered a Disney princess or not. So I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and draw Anastasia. All right, let's just go ahead and lay everything out. Now, Anastasia has a very interesting face, but we're going to try to do this as well as possible. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay out the overall face structure and we're going to do a quarter turn on her that means here's her chin here's the side of her face and I'm gonna go ahead and divide the face right down this side just so we see more of this side of the face as opposed to this side so what I'd like to do next is go ahead and define the eye guidelines so that they're gonna be going right across right here and then what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and start placing out the eyes now this eye is more off to the side so we're going to start off from her nose ridge, just a little bit away from that. And we're going to go ahead and just lay out this eye over here. And then we're just going to jump over here. And we're going to lay out this eye as well. So I'm bringing it to a corner up and up over here on this side. So I'm bringing that to a corner, bring this down. I'm gonna keep this part pretty wide. So we're gonna keep this a little wide over here, but it's going to go into a corner off to the side. After that, I'd like to go ahead and at least keep putting stuff down on her face just to map it all out. So I'd like to go ahead and bring down her nose, which is going to be off to the side of her nose guideline, just a little. So I'm gonna bring it down over here and then bring it in. And then we got this little indention to her nose right here. So she doesn't have that big of a nose. She has a very small nose. Then let's go ahead and just keep placing stuff around. All right, so I'm gonna jump down here just a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and give her her top lip line. It's curved upwards, it's not too big. So we're gonna make that top lip line, bring down this corner right here to her smile, round it around and then go ahead and connect upwards. Okay, so let's go ahead and shape up her face just a little bit more before we start detailing. From this side of her head, I'm gonna go ahead and bring out her forehead over here. So bring this out and then bring this down, bring out her cheekbone, bring it in towards her face. Um, make her chin is very pointed so we're gonna go ahead and keep that pointed chin and then we're just going to keep the roundness at the bottom here and then we'll go ahead and give her her ear off to the side she has her ear right where we connect right there and then a big pearl earring now what I'd like to do is go ahead and give her her eyebrows so from her nose ridge right here what we created we're gonna go right up and one eyebrow is going to go off to the side right here and they are pretty thick. So one eyebrow is going to go there and then the other one will be right over here. I'm going to kind of define this just a little bit more. And this one is going to be off to the side but it's going to be tucked underneath her hair. Now let's go ahead and jump into her eyes. Now the thing about Anastasia's eyes is they are a big clump in the corner, the eyelashes are. So I'm gonna go ahead and make one clump of eyelashes off to the side right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and give her her pupil. I'm just gonna round this down right here like she's looking off to the side. And then her bottom eyelash line is still pretty thick. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna make this nice and thick up here and then clump those eyelashes in the corner. And then I'm gonna bring down her pupil iris area all the way to the corner, round it up. And then we're gonna come right back down with a nice thick eyelash line. Then I'm gonna jump above this one and go ahead and give her that eyelid. So we have one eyelid right here and then another eyelid right here above this eye. 
that, I'm gonna go ahead and give her her pupil iris area. So I'm gonna give a little bit of a shine and I'm gonna go ahead and color in her pupil and then fill in her iris. She has bright blue eyes. I'm go ahead and give another shine to her eye, a pupil, and then fill in her eyes. And keep these eyelashes nice and thick. Then I'm gonna go ahead and jump down and I'm gonna make this part her top lip. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this upwards and then bring this other side upwards. So in the dip of the lip right here, we have a couple, we have this one going off in this direction and then this one going off in this direction. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring it and connect it to over here. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this and connect it to over here bring down this side, bring down this side of the lip, and then bring down this side of the lip, and go ahead and connect down here. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill in her lips. Now what I like to do is start with her hair. Now it's kind of weird, Anastasia is an interesting looking character. So her hair line actually starts off to the side over here. It's her bangs, they go down. And this is the once upon a December dress that she's wearing. So we're gonna go off to the side. It's gonna go down. Start over here, bring it down, and then another piece of hair is gonna go around and then back into her head. And then we have this part over here that's gonna come outwards and then it's gonna go back into her face. After that, I'd like to go ahead and just bring down this side of the hair which is going to go all the way down across her eyebrow and her eye and then back into here. So it's going to go up and down and then another piece right here go into her head and then it's going to go across the corner of her eye, across her eyebrow so all this can go away. And then her hair is wrapped around this side and then we have a piece going in this way. Let's go ahead and bring up this part of her hair which is just going to go up and back into her bangs. So that's part of her ponytail and then this is another part of her ponytail. So the hair is essentially going like this where it's wrapped around. And then this part of her hair is also going backwards. She has a very similar hairstyle to Ariel. A little bit of time to go ahead and clean up some guidelines and we want to make this eyebrow really thick off to the side right here and then we have to define this eyebrow a little bit more above now that we have her hair placed on her head after that very important so this is the once upon a December scene so we have to go ahead and draw the Russian tiara that she is wearing so I'm gonna go up bring this part up and then bring this part down going in. So we gotta go up, kind of looks like a seashell almost. And bring this up, bring this down. So the top of this tiara is lined with pearls. So I'm just gonna go around and I'm gonna give it a couple of circles on the top and it goes all the way around, so I'm gonna bring it all the way down, so I'm gonna keep making those circles. And then it stops off to the side right here, and then it's divided up into pieces, sections, 
So I'm just going to go ahead and divide this up into sections. We don't want her to look like a floating head and we have to draw the rest of her hair too because she's got a lot of hair. She might as well be Ariel. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and bring down this side of her neck. And then we're, so we're gonna go right underneath where her pearl earring is and this side of her face. You're gonna bring down right here. And you're gonna jump off to the side underneath her chin and bring down the other side of her neck and then it's gonna go out this way. So we're gonna bring down this side of her neck is a little bit more longer since we're seeing more of this side of her as she's kind of twisting to where she's bringing up her dress. So you're going to bring down, you're going to go outwards with this shoulder this way and then downwards with her shoulder this way. And you're going to go ahead and start curving down with that shoulder. And then you're going to bring out this arm to this way. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring out her chest going outwards and then back in. So from her neckline, we're gonna go outwards, bring in her chest, bring it in, and then start to go into her torso. So we're gonna go back over off to the side. You're gonna bring down this side of her dress. It's gonna go outwards. And then it goes outwards for her dress and the rest of her sleeve and her arm, but it's gonna go inwards towards the other side of her torso and then it's gonna go outwards. We're gonna make the top of her arm going this way. And we're gonna bring up this part and we're gonna go inwards and we're gonna make her upper arm. And I'm running out of paper by going off the side of the paper and trying to pick. <laughs> So I'm gonna go out this way and make the rest of her arm, gonna give a little bit of shape to it. The thing about this dress is that she's wear wearing some kind of sheer fabric that is coming from her actual dress. So we're just going to give that a little bit of impression of that fabric. So we're gonna go and make these ruffles on top and you go across her arm and it's see-through and it comes from the top of this dress right here and it's gonna go out this way. This arm over here, you're gonna go underneath her chest, bring out her arm, mirror it to where it is over here. And it's gonna go out this way. So we're gonna make her forearm right here, so that would be her elbow, and her arm goes down. Make her shoulder a little bit more rounded, make that forearm, and then, not her forearm, her upper arm, and I'm off the side of the page again. So I'm gonna round off her chest just a little bit more because this part of the dress goes down, up, and then this part is the yellow that cuts off the bottom here, and then we have a blue ribbon in the middle. And I'm gonna bring out the blue ribbon just a little bit. And I'm gonna bring out this side of the dress, all the ruffles going this way, and then the ruffles going this way. And then this should be, bring out the ruffles of the bodice of the bow. And then we have an indention of a bow, the one side of the bow right here, it's going outwards and then in. And then I'm gonna jump over here and bring out this side of the bow. And since it's a see-through fabric, we can see a lot of the bow. So I'm bring out this side, go in, and then bring this part down. And then we're gonna go ahead and divide up her dress just a little bit to give those ruffles and that's the best way of doing that is just by making those triangles starting from her bow and going downwards so 
So we're gonna go ahead and make some ruffles off to the side right here, going down above her shoulder, kind of like how we did up here. If you just give like little ruffles on top, it'll give that indention that there is a fabric on top of her arm. And if you do this, it's going to give the impression that it's a sheer fabric flowing down. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this down, bring it down. Go out this way and then this way. And it's just flowing everywhere. Let's go ahead and do the rest of her hair. So underneath this section of her hair, we have another blue bow that matches the bow to her bodice. So we're gonna bring out the bow. It's gonna go in, and we have the middle part of the bow that we can see. So it's like a little square off of her neck, underneath right here, and the bow's gonna go outwards and in. From this part right here, we're gonna go ahead and build up off the hair. So we're gonna go underneath the bow, bring out this side of her hair, bring out this side of her hair, off the side of her bow, and we have this big section of hair down here. So we're gonna go bring this down, curve it, and go back into her arm. So we have all this hair going on back here, and then we have more hair off to the side. So we're gonna go there's a break right here, and then we have a little bit of distance, and we're gonna bring this off to the side. So it's gonna go down, in, behind her arm, and then we have a curl going off to the side over here. I'm going to go ahead and lightly shade in her hair underneath here just so we know that that's her hair hiding back there. Last but not least, Anastasia is wearing a big string of pearls. Like the pearls go all the way down to her bodice. So I'm going to draw like this one right here and go upwards. And it's like little ones. It's like a pattern where we have little pearls and then big pearls. So little pearls and then big pearls little pearls and then big pearls and I'm gonna kind of like draw an outline where I want the pearls to go so I'm gonna follow this line this way and then follow the line up and behind her neck so I'm gonna keep going little pearls big pearls little pearls big pearls little pearls big pearls then one last thing I'd like to do is add a little bit of shading so we have a lot of shading going underneath her neck and I'm just gonna lightly draw underneath her neck and then shade underneath that part then we have some shading over here and I'm gonna shade in her bow and her hair so I'm gonna make her bow extra dark just because I, I want to make it darker than her hair And there you go, there's how to draw Anastasia. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure you see the cartoon. It's super old from the 90s, and if you haven't listened to it yet, listen to Anastasia from Broadway, and it'll make you want to see the show. Hope you guys have a most wonderful day. Leave in the comments down below as well if you want a Dimitri tutorial. I'll talk to you guys later, bye.